Hello and welcome back to Nearly Nerds. I am James. This is Collection Corner and it is Halloween week. So we've got to do a pumpkin. And if we're going to do a pumpkin on this channel, then chances are it probably has to be a Pokemon pumpkin. But I want to do it with a twist. Let us make a pumpkin that is a complete and utter random Pokemon for me. So what we're going to do is I've got four packs of Pokemon cards right by here. I've got, what is it? Two Chilling Rain, two Evolving Skies. Now... What the plan is, is I've got a D4 here and a D10 by here. I'm going to roll to decide which pack we open and which card out of the pack that we actually use. Now, the only issue we have is, obviously, there's trainers and there's energies. So, we will discount any trainers and energies in the packs. So, we'll just basically, if we roll a 10 on the 10 and we end up getting like three or four trainers or three or four energies or whatever, then we will just have to use the last card in the pack which might end up being a rare if we do the card trick. Should we do the card trick? We'll do the card trick. Do we want to do the card trick in case it's a rare? Right then, how are we going to do this? So I'm going to put the cards down on my lap. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but Evolving Skies is number one. Chilling Rain is number two. Evolving Skies is number three. And Chilling Rain is number four. Right then, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the D4. And that's going to decide which pack we open. So let's do that first. We rolled a four. So that is Chilling Rain. Let me show you so you can see it. There's another four there. Can you see that? Can you see that at all? I'll zoom in if you can't. Pack number four. So that is Chilling Rain. This could be the better of the two, I think, because there's a lot of dragons in it. And I don't really know how we do a dragon. So Chilling Rain, pop that by here. And let's roll the D10 to decide which card we're using. We rolled a nine. So let me show you that. How do I how do I show you? This is impossible. There's that there. It has a roll actually, which is quite cool. Hello. Right then, so card number nine in a pack of chilling rain. We are gonna do the card trick. We are gonna do it. So throw away I thought that was a Pokemon card for some reason. Then the energy is gonna be a steel energy. And then let's go. So we got spiral energy. Let's ignore that. I'll tell you what, we will count it just because it's not the card we're going to use anyway. So one, two is for Abominable. Number three is the Resistant Gloves. Heracross is number four. Mareep. Can you guys see this? La Vesta is the number five. It is number five. Number six. Ooh, we're getting close. Number seven is Deli Bird. Number eight is Dealing. So this card next is what we're going to be doing. And it's a Golurk. You know what? That could be absolutely sick. What's the last card for fun? Oh, we got a let. Can't speak. Oh, we got a lie pad. <laughs> right then, sick. So let us do a Golurk pumpkin. I am actually super down for that. Let me get you looking at what I'm going to be doing so you can see it. This is the pumpkin we're going to be making. And I actually think this could be epic. So let's get to it. I'll see you in the corner now. <laughs> To all the mums and dads who every year have to just de-gutter a fucking pumpkin for their kids, kudos to every single one of you, because Jesus Christ, that was a pain in the ass. So, there is all of the de-guttering, and there's the two heads. I did say two heads, because I started this with one pumpkin, but I went out and I bought another one specifically for this. So, here is pumpkin number one. This is the pumpkin we bought second and here is pumpkin number one there it is so you can see what i'm going with this so what i'm going to do is i don't know how i'm going to do his buckle but i want to do the big sort of crack along here to show that he's, he's sort of bursting through the seams but i don't know how i'm going to do the buckle and then obviously this is going to be his little happy face so what are we going to do first? I haven't got any reference images. I probably should have got some reference images. Let me get some reference images. So it seems like it doesn't actually matter how you do the crack, but I am going to try and make it look a little bit more legit. I don't know where to start it from. So let's pick the pretty side of the pumpkin. However, I've also got to think of a way 
that it creates that sort of image that I wanted. Look at this. Don't it look like Michael Jordan's trying to get one of those slam dunks that he's famous for? Right then, so I have got a pen. And I am going to draw out somewhat of a guideline. I have a plan. So I'll come down here. Bring it out. Bring it back down. Is this permanent marker? Fuck, it is a permanent marker. Probably. I mean, I'm cutting out, so it doesn't really matter. But I should probably be a bit tidier. Back out. And then down here. So that is our reference line. You guys can probably actually see it better than I can. And down. Sick. I am happy with that. Oh my god, that felt like snot. It's the pumpkin innards. Get in there, innards. Right then, so pumpkin body, I would say, is probably done. Because this is far easier than I thought it was going to be. But if you've got a keen eye, and I promise you, I can assume you do have a keen eye. Don't know why I'm promising that. This Pokemon card's behind it. There's a celebration set. And we're going to open that after this because I'm a fiend. So, let me now draw. Oh, sorry, I knocked the camera. Okay, right, we're going to work with this. We're going to work with this. I think, if I'm honest, it is just a square and, like, an L shape. This is way, 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 way too easy. Right then. And I think that probably should be about right. Can you see it? It looks like that. When it's cut out and the light's shining through it, that should, in essence, look sick. But it also might look really shit. But... We're having faith in here. Um, I don't think there's any other details, which as much as I'm like really happy about that, I feel like I'm kind of robbing you of the experience of me struggling. But hey, this, this is meant to be fun as well. I'm going to use the lines. So let's get in there. I will cut out some of the boringness of this because this is going to be a bit of as much as this straight lines most of the way. It's going to be a bit of a... But I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Right, okay, I'm out. The kids, the, the kids do this? This is far too dangerous for children. Um, I'm going to leave a mark, but it is... It might be a permanent marker, but it is a pumpkin. So pumpkins are like superheroes to a permanent marker. Sorry, this is a workout, this is. I wish I got to show you the... Um, the me cutting the innards out because jesus that was a proper workout i was literally elbow deep in this pumpkin that one i mean i did this one first thinking it was going to be tougher because it was hard to get around in obviously it wasn't that hard to do because it's small and then i came to this one thinking it was going to be easier and jesus christ it was not easier right we're about halfway through this line here and it is going really well but i have to come away from the line quite a bit I feel like I'm not quite getting the crack enough. I don't know if I should say that on the internet. <laughs> not getting the crack enough. What a fucking thing to say. Jesus Christ. I fucked it. <sighs> right then, a few mistakes. A few mistakes have happened. I don't know how I make a mistake with such an absolutely basic... Just it's, it's just a line, basically. But I have made mistakes. I found that if it is just a straight line, if you do this as... Sort of rudimental as it rudimental that's the white word, isn't it? As rudimental as it is, it um it really works. Right then. Can we pop this out in one? Right, I don't want to touch it with my hands. Right, we might actually be able to pop this out in one, guys. Can you see? Right, let's see if we can get this on camera. Come on, come on. Right then. Oh my god, oh my god. We're gonna do it in one. We're gonna do it in one. Come on, all of you in one. Don't snap on me now. Don't snap. i definitely cut it. Have I, have I cut it all? Yeah, it's all definitely cut. Let's push him out, baby. It's going to snap. So it's snapped. But look how cool this thing looks. Let's put it at the top like a ghost coming out. This is sick. Right, okay. Ooh, the fun of making pumpkins. This is actually so difficult to get these little bits out. I don't know what I've done wrong, but I've clearly done something wrong. A lot like an apple, a pumpkin. Did anyone else add that thought? Because it feels like I'm just chopping up an apple. Is this content? This is content, right? I feel like this was content until I actually made it. And now this, the idea of the video and then the difficulty of the Pokemon maybe wasn't what was intended.
Right. The final piece has been removed. It is just tidying it up. Right. I think, other than the fact that I'm going to have to go through this with a spoon again because uh, there's dangly bits all over the shop, I, I think the lines are correct and I think I'm happy with the lines. And I'm trying to get a beer. A little dangly gingly bit. Sound. So I think it is time to move on to the head. But what do you guys think? Is that looking pretty good? If you look there, it's too circular. So let me fix this because I that's just noticed that. And I'm angry with it already. Right, now I'm happy. <laughs> now I'm happy. Sick. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side. I think we turned it in. Now we're going to move on to the head, which is the easiest thing in the world. So this is going to take me a matter of two seconds. So let me just quickly stab him in the eye. Oh, my God. Even though I know it's a pumpkin, I still feel terrible stabbing him in the eye. Mm. Sound. Pop his eye out. There is his eye hole. Hey, give me your eye holes. They're this ugly on the inside, but... I think that actually turned out better than what I drew. So, now it's time to do the weird, funky L.I. Don't panic. Our first instinct is to panic, but we're not going to panic. We're going to flick. We're going to flick. His... I don't know where that went. Right, I'm not going to do that again. Jeez. Right, okay. Poke his eye out from the inside out. Poke his eye in from the outside in. You can get pulled out as well. Sound. I can't get you out of my mind. I can't get you out of my mind. Should I stay behind? Lose my mind. Stay behind. I can't. I'm going to ruin it if I do that again. All right. This is probably a lot of me just talking to myself because I'm terrified a minute. Sorry. All right. I am going to scoop his little back of his eyes out a minute. Let's try the other technique. This technique is much harder because it's not very big, this pumpkin. And I'm actually using the nose of the spoon. The nose of the spoon, is that correct? If this was a spoon's face, would this be its nose? Or if this was its face? I don't know. I feel like the nose of the spoon was correct. Right. Oh, what's going on there? There's a lot happening here, guys. There's a lot happening. So, I think he's done, but he's just a bit dirty on the insides so what i am going to do now is put them together so i can show you at least what they look like before i go and turn the lights out put some candles in them but also clean them out because oh my god i'm minging right so here are them together this is the body and then here is the head let me pop that out of here. Let me get the phone out. Oh my God, there's a tablet there. And there is our Golurk. Golurk? It is Golurk. It looks like Golet like this. Right then, there's some tea lights. Put them to the side. Here is the big boy. And I might have had a casualty. I might have accidentally, when I was trying to get the insides out, broke him ever so slightly, but it does not affect this. Oh, does it? Maybe ever so slightly, but I suppose that is the charm of it. No? That's going to piss me off. So I need to get, before we light this boy up, a way of buckling this up and making it look cool. So let me figure that out. Right, let me figure out how big it is. And I might try and use... Oh, you know what? That might be spot on. I have made this and I'm going to put it there. Is what I'm thinking. So I'll have a little latch. I haven't got toothpicks, but I have got chopsticks. So let's see if I can snap the chopstick in the right place. I can. Piece number one. So what I'm doing is I'm getting this bit of the, the chopstick and I'm trying to snap it, but I'm trying to be really careful to snap it on the line I have. Perfect. And again, then what I'm doing is I'm just shaving off all the little horrible bits to make sure then that if anyone does touch it they're not gonna hit their hands and then basically i just score out where it's gonna be and so this is what we have 
and then we're going to do the same on the other end and this is going to frighten me more because this is the thin end we're in and we're okay sound so there is our additional piece and i know what you're thinking it isn't straight it isn't the same size maybe that is a mistake but i had to work with what i had and i did not want to use anything that wasn't a pumpkin so let me now line this up this is going to be a difficult thing to do now actually didn't think this far ahead push back how he's on there and then i go do the same with you which is oh my god that is really going to be tough to get right let's get you in okay oh my days right so we may have just absolutely nailed that let me use this to hammer him in Right, I think I have done it, and I am <laughs> I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So I'm now going to light it up and just show you guys the results. Let's go. Right then, so let me light some candles and get them in there and see if this is as good as I really am desperately hoping it is. It is now time to officially see what it looks like. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. Sick. I don't know why the head is so fucking bright. Why is that so bright? But, other than that, I'm happy with how the rest of it turned out. Right, so it is revised, and I think it is going to be okay now. I've put the light on the upper candle, the candle's out now, so I don't think the head will be quite as bright. I'm hoping that the light comes through enough for it to light it up, um, which it should do because it's really thin, and I don't know why. But the bottom one seemed to work really well. So let's go for the last attempt at this, and hopefully this is, this is the pumpkin. So three, two, one, the final countdown. Let's go. Yes. You know what? Yes. I am happy with that. That is... That's a pumpkin, that is. That is a pumpkin. Let me click on the screen to see if folks in it elsewhere is going to make it look any cooler. I think I might have fucked up with the fact the neck is see-through. But then I don't think the eyes would light up and stay lit up long enough. So I don't know how I'd cope with that anyway. So in terms of challenge, I think I nailed the challenge. Because with the light back on, I mean, tell me that don't look sick. I mean, it looks, it's all right, like, innit? Thank you very much for watching me make a pumpkin today. And this was actually a really fun video to do. I'm really happy that I actually decided to do this. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. Actually, and I might check this in at the beginning, so I can't film the pumpkin. But there is a code on at the moment. It is a creator code for me. I don't know why I got a code, but I've got a code. It is... T-O-R-T, -T, and that is to be used on Chaos Cards. If you are looking to do some spooky Halloween purchases of Pokemon cards or any other TCG that you like, get on there, have a little gander, see if there's anything you like, and use my code. However, there's something that we are forgetting, and that is the pack opening. So let me just rip this open. The ball's gone everywhere, and let's open this. You know what? I'm not going to show you... Uh. I'm not going to bother showing you me. Uh, I'm not going to bother me showing you open the. <laughs> I'm not going to show you me opening the box. I'm just going to get the cards out because you've seen this open enough times. You don't need to see it again. Right. So here are the packs. So we got our four celebrations and our two packs of extra. TCG packages, which is <laughs> Vivid Voltage and Chillin' Rain. Why am I talking like an absolute idiot? Right, let us open... You know what? We'll leave celebrations to the end. We're going to go Chillin' Rain first. So there is our Chillin' Rain pack with a Zapdos on the front. And let us crack open... I'm doing this really awkwardly. I'm trying to like reach around the phone. So I'm trying to fit the, uh, the pumpkin in, which you can't see anyway. I don't know why I put so much effort and emphasis on trying to get the pumpkin in when you can't actually see it. This is going to be a fire energy. You ready for this? Oh, it's not fire. 
And here are the cards. So we've got Scroll of the Skies, Kalia, Fog Crystal, Cub Fu, Inke. Come on, give us an great. Oh, look, that's funny. We just made his dad. And then there is a grapple lock. That's a hollow. Sick. Let's check that by here. Sick. Vivid Voltage. If this contains a rainbow Pikachu, this is the greatest video on YouTube. I can't get the code out. There's the code. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't see what it was. And then steel. I never say steel, and it wasn't steel, so no point in saying it anyway. Nessa, Swellow, Zeb Striker. Come on, we're going to get a rainbow Pikachu. We're not going to get a rainbow Pikachu, but we are. We're not. We're not. So, as it is Celebrations Month, I was going to try and get a Celebrations open at the end of every video. And I don't think on the other videos that I haven't done full openings, I've done it. So I'm sorry about that. But I think I'm running out of packs to open, to be honest. There is another Umbreon. That's Umbreon number two. Let's go with the Umbreon number two. And there's a code for you guys. Chuck Umbreon at the back. I haven't got any sleeves with me right this second. But what a card to pull. Getting the pack number two. I can't in the slightest be angry with a duplicate of the Umbreon. Right, okay, let's go. An upside down Rocket Admin. I will take it. There's that there. If I'm honest with you, now I'm kind of worried that those are my two pulls, and now we've got two dead packs left. So let's really hope that's not the case. I'm going to bend the packs again. There we are. Get them in there. And let's see if we can get ourselves three for three. So there's Ho Oh, Xerneas. We can't get three for three. We can't get a gold Mew either. Right, last pack. Please, there are still cards we are missing from this set. This is meant to be a push at completing the set, not a push at making more doubles. Making more doubles. I said that really weird. Right, there's a Cosmoum. Ooh, full evolution line in this pack. No, there's not a full evolution line in this pack. There also wasn't any good pulls in that pack, but there is the final pack of the video. So, if you enjoyed this Halloween fan tabadanza don't know what i don't know what word that was that wasn't a real word but if you enjoyed this video please chuck a like on the video and subscribe if you are enjoying the content on the channel and yeah go and have yourselves a wonderful halloween i think we're gonna have another video posted tomorrow i know this is quite a late upload um but we will have another video posted tomorrow and then we'll have a halloween video as well so i'm not really sure what's going on tomorrow i want to do like a trick and treat uh, a trick and treat, a trick or treat pack opening and kind of have a mixture of different TCGs and we'll try and figure out within the video which ones would be considered tricks and which ones would be considered treats. And maybe, maybe we'll have some forfeits for the tricks, but I'll have a little think, see what I can come up with and we'll do that for tomorrow. And then Sunday, I think Natty has got a really cool Pokemon uh, horror story for you guys. So keep your ears and eyes and mouth open for that. But yeah, go and have yourselves a wonderful couple days. Halloween is upon us and enjoy it. Cheers, guys. If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks.